Well, they were getting a taste of the beat generation when they came in my shop. They weren't going to get that anywhere else. Even the old beats were wearing grey shoes by then. It's not just clothes, it's not just art, it's not just literature, it's not just music, it's not just architecture, it's not just food, it really is everything. He sees the big picture of modernism and the role that clothes played in all of that. His references coming from jazz and everything that was inspiring him, he was able to translate into the clothing. The reason that the mod look is destined to come back is because it's the only youth culture uniform that doesn't look ridiculous in retrospect. You know, you're not just putting on a shirt, you're putting on an attitude. You know, fashion is one thing, taste is another thing. And the clothes that Jay Simon sells are 20 times better than any passing fad that I've seen before or since. It was kind of like a revelation, really, to find a shop like that, you know, to find all that kind of American clothing that we really liked and the Ivy League style. If there's anyone in the industry who understands the significance of clothes, then it's, then it's John Simons. What they were doing in America was just buying this stuff without thinking. What he did is he went over and said, that bit's great, that bit's great, that bit's great. I'll take that out, I'll put it into a British context, and suddenly you see it differently. I don't think it was about being ahead of his customers or in tune with his customers. I think he's an artist. John unquestionably just knows his stuff inside out. He's the godfather. Simple as that.